Given how defiant he was on Friday, I think we were all pretty shocked by his announcement this afternoon that he was going to resign. Um, but we're very pleased. I would called for his resignation along with the Secretary of State and other football associations and players and fans. And it was something that I think many people wanted in order to try and restore some confidence and respect back into the football game. Mm, you talk about respect. He made some other choice comments, didn't he, about women's football, saying that perhaps a way to make the game more attractive and to attract more supporters was for the women's wear tighter tops. Yeah, he had made some very controversial comments on a number of matters, but actually the thing that I think was uh, most despicable about his, re his reign was the fact that he presided over all these allegations of corruption but wasn't willing to actually do anything about them. And I think if we're going to have an open and transparent FIFA, uh, then he should have actually taken some leadership and done something about it. He didn't do that. Uh, that led to further allegations about how much he was involved. And I think the investigations over the uh, coming months will actually... Uh, turn up some very interesting facts about what he's been up to. Yeah, rumour and speculation rife as to why now. It does seem quite odd. As I said, just Friday he was talk saying he was the right man for the job. Totally different tune today. And we should make it clear that there are no actual allegations against him at the moment. There are none against him, but I think that what's quite clear is that there are executive members that are quite clearly implicated. Um, you know, he obviously said uh, last week that he couldn't be held responsible for the actions of people on his executive. But something has happened for him to suddenly uh, decide to resign today. Um, I think it's a good thing because I think we need to start the process of reform and we need to do so quickly uh, if we are going to restore the confidence back into football that people want to see. Um, so, you know, I think that we're going to see a lot of change over the coming months and years and that's what we need. It does seem that it's going to be a slow process because even though he's announced his resignation tonight, he could be there for another few months as we're finding out that the next presidential election might not be until December. How frustrating is that? Well, I think it's incredibly frustrating that there will be a delay. That's obviously a process matter. Um, but, you know, it's very clear that he has said he's not going to be the candidate. I think that's a good thing. I think the time will allow other candidates to come forward uh, and show what it is that they have to offer in order to reform FIFA. Um, and that in itself will open up a massive debate about FIFA and its role in the world of football. Um, so I think that, you know, we can actually get some out of the delay, something positive. Um, obviously, I would have loved him to have just gone today, but that's obviously not the process. Uh, it might be a case of the king is dead, long live the king in terms of he's gone, but there are a lot of other senior executives there. Do you think that FIFA needs to be open up to an external investigation? Obviously, there was an internal investigation that a lot of people felt was swept under the carpet. Do you think an external body needs to go in there now and clean it from top to bottom? Well, one thing that's absolutely clear is that if we're going to have any sort of confidence about FIFA going uh, forward, it needs to be open and transparent uh, and it needs to be held to account. So whatever happens in terms of the investigation, you know, you need to see all those reports published. You need to see people um, looking into matters that have been raised over the last uh, year, few years. Um, so, you know, but we have to make sure that it is open and transparent for people to have that real confidence and respect.